Hi everyone, uh, it's Carl here. Just thanks so much for joining me today to discuss the Sacrament of Confession. So as you know, I've mentioned before, uh, we're actually preparing for two sacraments, count them two. Uh, this year we have First Communion, uh, which will take place in May, and then uh, First Confession. Uh, communion and Confession are the two sacraments that, that Christians uh, should receive the most, actually. Throughout our lives, these two sacraments serve as uh, kind of the backbone of our life of faith and our sacramental life, right? So uh, what is the sacrament of confession? Basically, it's the sacrament of God's mercy. And you young people have this amazing uh, opportunity to go uh, to confession and have your sins forgiven. Sometimes people think, well, that's scary. And there's some element of it that can be a little nerve-wracking because we have to kind of say some things that maybe uh, we're not proud of. Uh, but I'm going to talk about why we should be excited uh, and unashamed, you know, when we uh, go to the sacrament. So first off, um, the whole reason Jesus came was to show his mercy to us, right? That's the whole reason he came. And it's so important that we receive his mercy and we're confident in it that he left us a sacrament, a special uh, ritual, a special ceremony, so that we will know we are forgiven without any shadow of a doubt, right? So, um, so what does that mean? So confession uh, is, as the name implies, right? You confess to a priest who sits on behalf of Christ uh, to dispense his mercy, right? So when you can go to confession, that's kind of the, the term we use, right? Going to confession. When you go to confession, the first thing you do is you examine your conscience. We've talked about your conscience, right? That little voice in your head and that judgment by which we know some things are right and some things are wrong. So we examine our conscience to see where we've fallen short of God's law and of goodness so, and, and love. So that's the first thing. We examine our conscience. Then the second thing, we have to admit those things to ourselves, which can be hard, and then also ask God um, to uh, um, accept our apology, right? We have to feel sorry. Uh, so the first thing is we examine our conscience, and the second thing is we have to feel sorry for our sins. Now, by feel sorry, I don't mean, by feel sorry, I don't mean, you know, you have to feel like, start crying or something like that. In fact, you don't at all. But that you have to be, uh, aware that it's wrong and um, regret having done it. Now the third thing, and it's tied to the second thing, is a firm purpose not to do it again. You can't really say that you're sorry for something if I if you hit your, your little brother and then you're like I'm sorry and then you hit him right away. You know you're not really sorry, right? So you have to want to be sorry for it and not want to do it again. Then you have to be honest with the priest. You need to tell the priest in the confessional honestly what you've done right? And they may ask you questions and just answer them honestly. And then the fifth thing, be willing to do the prayers called a penance uh, afterward, right? Like to, to help show God that you really want to make up for what you did. Um, it would be like if I, I remember when I was a kid, I threw a ball and it, it hit a man's car and I had to go over to his house and I'd tell him I hit your car and then I had to like, so then I tried to like wipe it off and like try to make up for it, right? Like, you know, like for this dent that I put in his car, wasn't very successful, unfortunately. Confession is much more successful. Um, so do the penance. So the five things, again, you have to examine your conscience, right? What did I do wrong? How can I do better? I have to be sorry and uh, convicted that I won't do it again. Convinced I'm not going to do it again. Amendment, I'm not going to do it again. Uh, confess truthfully what you've um, uh, kind of seen through your examination. And then the fifth thing is to to perform the um, the penance the priest gives you, which like is often in Our Father or Hail Mary, some sort of prayer. Now, um, a couple of things you should know for sure is that whatever you say in the confessional, the priest never tells anyone. In fact, he tries just like God to forget it, right? He tries to like a uh, uh, trash, you know, kind of takes them and throws them in the garbage can, right? Just throws them behind him, forgets all about them. So you don't have to be worried about the priest talking about it with his priest friends or with your parents. If anyone asked about it, he cannot say a single thing about what goes on. The only person he talks to is the Lord, right? He just gives it to Jesus, um, just like you want to. Um, 
and you want to know something else, the priests, they probably go to confession a lot, right? So they also know what it's like to sit in that seat and confess their sins to a priest because that's they can't confess to themselves. They go to another person, to, uh, another priest to receive God's mercy. So the sacrament of confession um, is not something that we should be afraid of. You may be a bit nervous and that's okay, but it's not something we should be afraid of. And I'll just close by telling you this one story. I remember when I was in college, there was this, uh, we were a bunch of us, you know, after a weekend, whatever, it was a Monday morning, we're all like lined up for confession one day, maybe in the afternoon, I don't recall. And uh, this kid who was in front of me, I was good friends with him, and he went to confession. And when he came out, he started high-fiving everyone, you know, as he walked by. And then uh, he was like, I've been washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. Now that language may seem odd to you, he was a theology major. Um, but the idea here is that God has already taken on the price of our sins and shed his blood for us, right? So we're washed clean by his sacrifice. And he was so happy to go to confession and receive the mercy. That's the whole point. It's the whole point of our faith, right? Just to throw ourselves on God's mercy and to receive it. So confession is such a beautiful, beautiful way to experience that. If you haven't been to confession in a while, to the parents out there, I really encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity. Um, we have confessions during the season of Lent. Uh, last detail. So the exact date for the ce uh, celebration of the sacrament of confession is not going to be during Lent. There's just too much going on. We're going to have it um, on April 25th at 3 o'clock at St. Lucy's Church. And there's just going to be time for the one service. Know my prayers for you and um, good wishes. And I'm sure we'll see you soon. All right. God bless and thank you for taking the time to listen.